And joining us now is former Utah Congressman and Fox News contributor, the great Jason Chaffetz. Jason, good to see you. Are you there, hey, Jason? Thanks for having me. Good, just checking to make sure you're there. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, good. Hey, what do you make yes. of this? What do you I'm, I'm awake, yes. Good, just so, yeah, we wake up. I didn't know if you're Joe Biden or Jason Chavis. I had to wake you up. Um, question, though, uh, what do you make of the story? They, they've searched the, uh, the, the, the Penn Biden Center, searched his uh, home uh, in Maryland and now the Rehoboth home. The FBI does criminal investigations. This is almost unprecedented that a criminal investigation is going on with the U.S. president. Yeah, and you know what? You just played the clip from the uh, the spokesperson for the president uh, from the White House Counsel's Office. That is absolute garbage. It is total lie. To say that the president has been open, transparent, and cooperative is not true. The president of the United States declared that there was no there there, only to find out that there were classified documents there, 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 and there. So that's not exactly being open and transparent. He was forced into this position to have to go actually look for these documents, put the FBI in a terrible position, and he won't allow Senate and House investigators on the intel committees to review the documents that were seized. To understand the gravity of the problem, you have to review those documents, albeit in camera. But why isn't it that Senator Mark Warner, the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, a Democrat, can't even look at these at these documents? Don't tell me you've been open and transparent. All he has to do is wave the magic wand, sign a little piece of paper, and those Senate investigators can look at that, those materials and give it a true look to understand how bad the situation truly is. Biden and company, Jason, never thought the American people or anyone would find out about this. That's the whole story. Yeah. As Andy McCarthy has said over and over again, they thought it would be kept hush-hush, and certainly the media and CBS News and everybody would never break this story. But that that's where it ends here. And again, like yesterday, they didn't reveal that, that the FBI was in the Penn Biden Center. And before we move on, I just want to point out one other thing. There's a period from when Biden left the White House, when he was vice president, until the Penn Biden Center opened. Where were the documents? Where were all those documents, the documents that were found in the Penn Biden Center, the classified documents? Nobody knows what who, who had access to them even then. So much to discuss. We want to move on, though, to government waste, another nightmare that really is the you know, a burden, a financial burden on the American people. House Oversight, which you used to chair, holding a hearing on COVID fraud and abuse in federal pandemic spending. And listen to Congressman James Comer, current chair. This committee conducted almost no oversight of federal government agencies, programs, or policies. The American people have suffered from the lack of oversight and accountability. We owe it to the American people to get to the bottom of the greatest theft of American taxpayer dollars in history. We must identify where this money went, how much ended up in the hands of fraudsters or ineligible participants, and what should be done to ensure that it never happens again. It, billions, it could be a hundred billion, no telling, Jason. Well, it's, we, th we believe it's north of $100 billion. The Secret Service has previously said that out loud. The Inspector General, Michael Horowitz, who helped testify today, uh, had, had pointed out that literally by the tens of thousands, there were fraudulent uh, Social Security numbers. Um, and we don't learn these lessons. Uh, I participated in hearings regarding TARP. Uh, there was a special inspector general for the troubled asset relief program, and there were literally tens of billions of dollars that fraudulently went out the door. And there were supposed to be all these safeguards, and we were going to learn all these lessons and never, ever do this again. And they made the exact same mistakes. Nobody gets fired. Nobody's held accountable. Everybody gets to save their job and be in place. And now they get, over a two-year period, a, like, 15 percent pay raise. So uh, when is somebody actually going to get their butt fired over there because they don't know how to control the American taxpayers' nutty? And then Schumer and the president say, well, we don't have a budget, but, you know, you got to really, you got to up the, the uh, debt ceiling, but they don't even know how to manage the money. They don't, Jason. Can I? I always, no, go, go ahead. ahead. No. I was going to say, I was so smart, and I appreciate you joining us um, and staying awake for this segment. I'm kidding. I'm can, kidding. Can I Thanks. add one awesome. thing before yeah. we Congratulations say goodbye? Congratulations on the show. It's <laughs> Thank fun. you, Jason. Stop sucking up so you get invited <laughs> back. 
Um, but I was, I will admit when I was, I'm wrong. And I will be damned if I, if any of us get frightened into submission again, meaning about COVID, how we got frightened into, he, a lot wrong. of us did. We got to shut down the economy. We, and You're right. We have to shut down the economy, and everybody got sent into their homes. It's the last place that we ought to be during COVID. And this is how it happens. Fear equals control. Control equals power. And we are on a financial trajectory that is irreversible, potentially, in this nation. And never again, Never again will we be frightened into submission and to hand our lives and our livelihoods over to bureaucrats and politicians. All due respect. Well, you're not in Washington anymore, so I can say that to I you, I think Jason. Jason and I would both agree with that, right, Jason? What were we tagging on this? Amen. 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 Did you Never love it again. when they closed the national parks? They closed yeah. the national parks because being outside was going to get you COVID if you just, you know, And there's the outside. best thing for you. Get outside and play. Go for a run. Stay healthy. Never that again. was the best way to fight COVID. There Jason was, Chaffetz. There was. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wrap you pretty soon here. All right. Here, I'm shut up. Okay. Bye. All right. See you later, Jason.